and what a great day to sew something wonderful. I'm Kia with Kia B. And this is Tech Guy from The Hive. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Floss Tube. Tube. We're so excited to be back with you for another Mania update this week. Number three. We've been through three weeks of Mania and we're loving it. Yes. Yes. This um, last week was kind of special because you were on vacation. Yes. So we did some traveling and um, you'll see a little bit more about that later. Mm -hmm. Um, but we got a lot of stitching time in while we were gone, N hardly any since we've been home, but we got a lot done while we were gone and that was really exciting. Yes. So, um, I don't know, it's been a really fun week. Um, we, let's see, what did we do? We went to my grandfather's house for the uh, first part of last week yep. and like I said, we got a lot of stitching time in. Uh, my grandpa thought it was hilarious that he is stitching. Um, and he liked it. Oh yeah, loved it. Um, the kids played outside from like sun up till sundown because he built this amazing, amazing like jungle gym, tree house, fort thing and they just love it. Yep, it has two levels and they love it. Oh yeah, so fun. Um, and then, let's see, I visited Miss Helen at the quilt shop. Of course. And talked with her and she is going to long arm um quilt my norm and the net quilt and i am elated over that i uh we just stopped in to say hello i actually like believe it or not uh was not buying fabric this time um, she was surprised also i know miss helen was like what do you mean you're not shopping so anyway i just um wanted to stop in, in and say hi to her and i was showing her the norm and the net quilt that i've been working on and she, her, like her brain was like spinning with long arm quilting ideas. And so the plan was to take it this weekend, being Memorial Day weekend, we were going um, to my grandfather's house again, um, but circumstances, um, we're not going now. So the next time we go back, I will take Norm and Annette and the backing and Miss Helen will quilt it up for me. She's actually all cut up on her long arm. She has three machines in her shop. They're huge. And they, constantly have a quilt on them she's yep. constantly busy and when i asked her what her turnaround time was last week when we went there she was <laughs> like honey that is my quilt right there and as soon as it's finished you can have it tomorrow yep. and so um sweet lady oh she's absolutely amazing uh, sweet lady. amazing so anyway so we did that for a couple of days it was really nice to spend some time with him uh, made him some home cooked meals the boys um love him and so um, that was a good time. Yes. Then on Wednesday, um, I told the kids, the boys, that we were making a pit stop at a new quilt shop. Um, because then, to them, everything is quilting. Yes. Um, and so I told them it was a little bit far away. And so uh, we drove. Yes. And wasn't that far. Uh, that just Our. to kid time it was. And um, we ended up at Keepsakes in Mason, Ohio, and that shop is awesome. Awesome is not even like a good word That's for it. It's just the first thing that came into my head. Yes, like we probably spent two hours there, and the kids loved it. Yes, like you can touch everything, every stitched piece. That's all. I mean, there's not like there's no open space. So when um, Stephanie from Just Keep Stitching says that she's like stitching a model. I have no idea where that model goes because there's literally no room in this house for, and it's an old house. It's so like have a cottage. On. Yeah, it's so. And it's awesome, and it's something that it's, it's uh, we so haven't been cool. into one yet. Yes. Uh, like it's a it's two story. Uh, every shelf, every mm -hmm. table. Everything mm -hmm. has something on it, um, and it was organized its own way. And it oh my was... goodness! Like, oh, if you, you'll find all the Christmas stuff in this room, yeah. or all the you know fall stuff and Halloween. Yes, and... like, and all the you know um, sentiment stuff is in this room. It and was amazing. It was just so awesome. All the market stuff was in like the new market stuff for this year was in one section. So yes. like, if I was specifically looking for one thing, that's where I went. Yes. They had needle binders and floss and they needles. Had a whole room and full of floss. So whole room. much stuff. It was amazing. It was a neat experience. Mm -hmm. So ladies were nice. The ladies were so nice. Pam and Steph weren't there that day. Stephanie, mm -hmm. um, it was her off day, but Barb was there, 
She was incredibly sweet, sweet. sweet. There were a bunch of ladies just kind of sitting around the table there stitching, and that was really fun to um, see that. And they were so welcoming and like, oh, well, why don't you just pull up a chair and stitch with us? And, you know, it would have been so great to be able to do that. Um, they were obviously giving Tech Guy a hard time, like, oh, I'm sure you don't want to be in here. And he was like, no, actually, like, I love it in here. I'm stitching. And we both found so many things that we loved there. And so we'll share those um, in bed. with you later. Yeah. <clears throat> in our hall. Yes. So then we took the kids to um, Great Wolf Lodge. And <laughs> story time. I was really afraid that the kids were going to think we were going to Kings Island because Kings Island Amusement Park is in the same parking lot as Great Wolf Lodge. Um, there's just like, there's one driveway for Kings Island and one driveway for Great Wolf. Yes. So I was like, man, as soon as we pull off the interstate, the kids are going to see like the Ferris wheel, the death drop, the roller coasters, all that kind of stuff. I'm like, they're going to think we're going to Kings Island. And so I was just so nervous because Great Wolf is so amazing. But like, I felt like, you know, anyway. They would have gotten their hopes up. Yes, they would have gotten their hopes up. So I'm like so nervous and the kids aren't even paying attention. They're like I, I'm twiddling their thumbs. I don't know because we don't let them have electronics in the car or anything. Mm -hmm. And so they weren't even paying attention. And I was like, oh, I'm, you know, after we leave Cape Stakes, I'm like, I'm sorry, guys, I just have to make one more stop. They I'm were really troopers. sorry. And they did not complain one single time. And they're awesome. And so this guy is uh, in charge of the GPS because if I don't drive on long trips, I get really sick. So he's in charge of the GPS. And at the same time, I'm like trying to talk to my dad on the phone and I know we're almost there and he's trying to tell me directions. He tells me to turn at the light. I turn at the light only to realize we are in the Kings Island admission mm -hmm. lane. Yep. And there's nowhere to get out of that. Like you have to go through the parking booth Super for awkward. Kings Island. So here I am like so nervous that the kids are going to be like, yeah, we're going to Kings Island. And I'm trying to avoid that. And we literally turn right into it. This guy. So I go up to this poor girl. This is first her day. first day at Kings Island, like as an employee. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I do not want to pay $20 for parking. I want to turn around and go to the next, like, entrance to Great Wolf. I'm so sorry. She, she was confused. Froze. She was so confused on what to do. She had to call security over. And security looked at her like she was crazy. Ugh. So they escorted us out. So, that, you know, they made sure we didn't go in and park or whatever. And we get to Great Wolf Lodge and the kids are elated. Yes. Like, they were so excited. I think they and said, I wish we went to Great, Great Wolf Lodge. And I'm like... Why don't yeah. we just do it? Yeah. And we were there. So um, it was so fun. If you've never been, it was great. Um, we had a great time. Um, even our little guy had a great time. I was nervous that it might be a little um, loud in there for him with his migraines and things. But he didn't have a headache while we were gone at all. And it was wonderful. Um, and he did great. He loved um, the swimming. The swimming. The his wave favorite pool. thing was the wave pool for sure. He would say, "Swide, swide," because they have you know these huge water slides, and he loved doing that. Mm -hmm. And so, um, oh my word! Like we needed to go for more than one night, and we quickly realized we needed to be there for more than one night when we just realized how much there is to do there. Right. So we let the kids swim for a couple of hours. On Wednesday and then we met Pam and Steph at Just Keep Stitching. We met them for dinner on Wednesday night at Outback. I think what oh. Pam has said is that one it's one of their hauntings and I laughed. Yeah. Because they went there several times when they first started yeah. their YouTube channel. When I, mean, I originally insta text um, Stephanie, <laughs> when I, I originally um, had sent her a message on Instagram and said, hey, we're surprising our kids with a trip to Great Wolf. And my understanding is that um, Keepsakes is not that far away from there. It's literally like 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, I would love to come to Keepsakes. And she was like, great, it's my off day. <laughs> so <laughs> wah, wah. And then she was like, but we should totally meet for lunch or dinner. And I was like, yes, she is my person. So we met them for dinner. It was, and she had suggested Outback. She said it's one of their favorite places to go right there. And it's right across the street. 
So the kids were fine um, with going. They weren't like mad that we were leaving the pool or anything. So we go and get dinner and we were there for three hours. And y'all, if you have kids, yes, you can't make it through like 45 minutes in a meal out and about. Yeah. They were champs and they I, were awesome. Yeah. And it's like we hardly go to restaurants because I don't want to make them this, like sit there right. and you can only entertain them so much in a restaurant and especially without electronics because... I don't want to be that parent that, you know, throws a phone at them yeah. so that they'll be quiet. Sometimes I had to do that. Um, but we went and they were like amazing. 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 Even the four year old. Now we did give him tech guy's phone so that he could watch a movie and like two and a half hours in the older two were like, but I want to watch a movie. So we let them finally watch a movie for about, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes. And just to sit there and talk shop. And honestly, when Pam and Steph came, I felt like I knew them. Like, I... Did you feel like that? Uh, I waved Pam down. Yeah, he did. That was funny. Like, we were a family. We... Like, they just sat down, and it was like... We, like, knew them. Yeah. It, it was, was awesome. awesome. It was so great. We talked about so many different things with floss tube and YouTube and quilting and cross stitch and all the these different things. And, things like and it that. was... And yeah, and the community and... It was so great. Like, we both left there going, we have to do this again. We have to do this again. Yep. We invited them to our um, old theater here in um, a town that's not too far from us and said that they need to come and uh, just kind of have like a movie and stitching weekend where we go to the old theater and um, then they can come back here and um, we can stitch all weekend, which would be so great. So, uh, it was such a good, like, it was so good. And I've talked to Steph almost every day since we left there. Your new BFF. Just about different things. And, y'all, she's, like, so awesome. They're very so sweet. Is Pam. Oh, They're my, very so sweet. sweet. Yes, I watched their floss tube. First of all, I was, like, the first person to watch their floss tube this week because it was, like, one minute since upload. And I was, like, oh, I gotta watch this. There was no description yet. There were no other comments yet. There was nothing. But I clicked on it and watched it. And they're just so sweet. They you get with you see them on like the yes, on YouTube. You get exactly them in real life, are. and it's yes. not a. Uh, and you always wonder, right? And you yeah. always wonder about people's personalities. But you get what like you see what you get. You yeah. get what you what you see. Yeah. And it's amazing. And they were kind. And they were genuine. And they're, um, yeah. you know, they're really great people to share a meal with. Absolutely. It was not awkward or anything. It was so fun. The only thing I regret, we did not take a picture with him. I feel bad. But I, it happened. But it happened. Yes. It so, um, so that was so fun. And then Thursday, we let the kids swim all day long. And our youngest, about, I don't know, maybe 1.30, he looked at me and he was like, nine night. So the great thing about Great Wolf Lodge is they have all this seating everywhere. Like there's seating areas with couches and armchairs and everything everywhere. So he and I just got dressed out of our swim stuff and we sat in front of the fire um, with a blanket that we had taken in the car and he curled up and took a nap. Because you have to check out by 11 but you can swim all the way up until the pool closes that day. Mm -hmm. And so um, he slept, he took a nap in the lobby for like two hours and then when the kids were done sleep, um, swimming then we all left. Yep. And it was great. It was really fun. We drove home in a nasty storm, but... Um, it's like, it reminded me of Twister. Tis the season. Yes. 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 So, that was a lot of fun. It was and I can't wait time. to share our haul with you from Keepsakes. And I'm already planning our next visit there because it was so cool. It was a good time. Yeah. So, enough babbling. Uh, we've got... Um, some things in the works for 24 hours of cross stitch and when I say some things in the work I mean he's taken off of work and so that's our first step and then we'll figure out what we want to do from there we'd love to go somewhere and kind of do 24 hours of cross stitch in 48 hours um, we'll just kind of see what happens with that it's in a couple of weeks so we've got big plans for that and then anything else this week that we you need to check out? like an open invite what? let us know Oh, <laughs> yeah, what are you guys doing yeah, for um, 24 hours of cross stitch? Are you doing it with Jen Lee or do you think that's absolutely insane? But if you think it's insane, be nice about the way you think it's insane. Everybody's, you know, everybody does their own thing with cross stitch and or there are no or... rules. Yeah, or projects or whatever. If you don't cross stitch and you're just watching because I'm a quilter, 
do 24 hours of quilting. Yes. I mean, it, there are literally no rules, and um, it's super fun. You kind of make it with what you want it to be. Yeah, yeah, you do what you want it's to. It's like it's it's its own thing, and yeah. there's no mold for yeah. it. There's no outline. There isn't something no. that you have to follow. Not at all. Yes. Not at all. I'm looking forward to it a lot. A lot. I'm really looking forward to this weekend mania, too. Yes. So, okay, um, let's talk about our week of mania. Yes. Do you want to start? I Whips? Sure. Whips. Whips. Okay, so I didn't get as far as I wanted to. And I keep saying it. This is like third, like week three, and I know we're going to the final stretch. Like It's the final countdown. I'm sorry. Um, so the same thing on uh, Merry Christmas, my dear. I have not done anything, literally nothing on this. Did you even take that with us? I did. But you didn't do anything? I looked at it. So, um, you think you're gonna be able to get that done in a week and a half? Yeah, yeah, because I'm almost done with Frosty Forest. So, I've kind of spent more time on Frosty Forest because that's true. I'm a completist, like, I have to do one thing at a time, and I thought I could do two a things. Completist, I don't know that I've heard that. It, I'm coining it like an insta text, <laughs> Pam. Pam, <laughs> um, so I really want to get Frosty Forest, and it was a bummer that there's no snowman. Oh my goodness, that was such, a he and I both like looked at the pattern and was like, oh, well, and I, he was like almost through and I was like, well, where's your snowman? He was like, oh wait, I didn't stitch a snowman. There isn't an O. So we like look at the chart and it's definitely a button. It's a button and neither one of us realized that. Anyway, so. Frosty Forest, it is almost done. Yeah. Almost done. Like you just have some border up there. And yep, and then I've got to connect down here and it's done. Done. But Finished. look how much stitching you got done while you were on vacation. Though. Yes. You did get a lot. And done. I didn't lose my needle. That's a lie. I didn't. You lie like a rug <laughs> on the floor. You lie uh, like a jelly roll rug. That's my new coin it. You on. lie. Hashtag, hashtag. Hashtag. You lie like a jelly roll rug. You so, lost your needle. My grandpa that. has shag carpet, first of all. And tech guy lost his needle, we thought, in the carpet. And I thought, the only re the only way somebody's going to find this is it's with their kids. foot. And it's going to be one of our children. Yep. It was stuck to his scissors on the table. My snips. So, so. but here's, here's the ironic part. Right before we left for vacation, like literally the night before we left for vacation, I made a ton of needle minders, a ton of needle minders, mm -hmm. and gave him his option of needle minders. And did he use it? I mean, it was attached to my, my Ada. But you didn't put your needle on it. It's a habit that I've got to put yeah. into play. Yeah. So, um... I will get Frosty Forest probably done tomorrow. Yeah, because um, you're off maybe. for the next couple of days. Yes, because we have, uh, we ha you have a meeting for three days. Yeah. Uh, so I'm home with the boys, which I'm super stoked about. Yeah. I'm smoking meat tomorrow. Um, so I'll be doing that and cross-stitching, playing board games with the boys, and playing Legos and things like that. So pretty stoked, but I will get Frosty Forest done, and then I'll solely concentrate on Merry Christmas, my dear. And I should get that done in a week and a half. Yeah. Cross my fingers. Because that's actually my mania project. Frosty Four was a pre-mania slash first project. Yes. So that's where I'm at right now. And then I think that's it. But yeah, next two days, at the, at the most, two days. Yeah. Get my border done. I don't know how to display it. Comment below. You have any like, oh, like finishes? Like finishes. Like, I That's have no great. idea. Um, but Merry Christmas, my dear. And then I, apparently there's more patterns coming for me to pick up. So yeah. uh, we'll talk about that in a bit. Yeah. So I think that's it. Very okay. cool. Very cool. Um, I was going to say something about Merry Christmas, my dear. And now I don't remember what it was. Oh, well. Okay, so let's talk about whips for me for this week. I had... Um, Three, yes, three cross stitch days and four quilting days this week. So I was heavy on quilting. And I pretty much stayed up with it while we were gone. I took my sewing machine. I did 
fine while no we were there. No lie, she took. I did. My grandpa was like, what are you doing? I gotta work. I gotta do my stuff. So, I, one of my quilting projects was um, making this one. This is Peace, Love, and Quilting Quilt Kit from Fat Quarter Shop. This was for um, National Quilting, quilting Day, Day um, for 2019. Yeah. And so they sent me, this is a finish of 44 and a half by 52 and a half. And I was able to get the entire top put so together. Proud of her. So I will, well, won't be able to show you like the whole thing because it won't fit in the frame. But. Oh, let me show it to you the right way, maybe. Not upside down. If you would hold this side. I would love to hold it. Okay. So, we've got this big heart, and then it's got these um, stars here in the center. So, isn't that adorable? These colors are so So, the fun. top is done then, right? Yeah, so the top is done. I have not squared it up or anything like that, because okay. I don't square them up until, um, like, after they're quilted. Okay. Uh, that's just my preference. Everybody does something different. So I worked on that. That was two of my quilting days. One of my quilting days was cherry picking. And so I didn't get as far on this one as I would have liked to, um, but that's okay. Um, I did get, so what you have to do is, as part of this table runner, it comes with a ruler. So in a sew sampler box, which if you are joining us because um, you love floss tube, then we actually are a quilting channel that we are starting to incorporate floss tube. Yes. Cross stitch was the very first craft I ever picked up when I was very, very little girl. And I did that growing up completely. It wasn't until um, I was in like college, really high school, college that I got um, into quilting. And then I wasn't really serious about quilting until about 10 years ago. And, um, so cross stitch is like my first, like my first love. And so, Mine too. um, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Tech guy's only been stitching since mid April. Yep. So, um, so anyway, I, uh, so sampler is a subscription box, a subscription quilting box that a quilting company puts out and you get different patterns, fabric, things like that in yep. within the box. And this came in the box a few months ago. This is Cherry Pickin' by uh, me and my sister Designs, and it's a table runner. And so you actually use a charm pack, which is five inch squares. You sew all those together in a huge rectangle, and then you use a certain type of ruler, and you're gonna cut out all these little pieces. And so um, they are absolutely adorable. And the way that you sew these together make this kind of like star pattern. Which is really neat to see. Yeah, and you, then you lay three of those together here, and it makes a really adorable table runner. So I had, in my mania plans, I had planned this for one day. I thought maybe I would be able to get the whole top done in one day. It just didn't work like that. It's a lot of pieces. Um, yes, and I didn't have as much time that day as I wanted, but that's okay. Mania really is intended just for starts, but there are no rules or anything like that, and so I'd hope to get the whole top done, but I did not. Just didn't so, happen. Yeah, that's okay. Um, so I am a little bit behind on that, and then I am definitely behind on my next quilting, um, top. I was supposed to cut all of my fabric for my next quilt top which will end my quilting for mania and so i'll show you that here in just a few minutes and we'll get into that so cross stitch wise i had three projects i worked on this week the first one was patriotic pin keeps by scissor tail designs i started with well now i don't remember oh this guy right here the star yep so um i let tech guy i just kind of handed him the pattern and said here which one should i start with and so I am doing this on some Wachelt white and I cut down um, and, and so and it pops. Yes, it does pop. So I have gotten um, the red outside border and then some of that maybe blue stars. And I am doing the um, call for DMC. And then like I said, I'm just using Wachelt white. Yep. And so, um, yeah. So that is that one. Super cute. So I've got that all in my project bag. Just kind of keeping it together. And then we actually, if you notice, we are in a different set this week. Um, I, um, <laughs> I know, he laughs at me. Um, but anyway, these are all new shelves right here. And all my project bags kind of sit in those. 
And then um, we have this new little quilt here on air. I've had it for a few months now. I made it when we hit 10,000 subscribers and I love it so much. It's so, pretty cute. That had nothing to do with mania, but it's there. Surprise, we're in a new. We changed it up a little bit. Set. Yes. Okay, then um, my next project was Brunch at Buttonwood Farm by um, Vintage Needle Arts. And so this is something very different for me. Um, Love the cow. And I'm just doing this on DMC Light Oatmeal, uh, 14 count Ada. And I got some of the swirls done. The clouds? Are they clouds? No. Clouds. They might be clouds. They might be clouds. So I got some of that done. I did that in the lobby while um, our little guy was sleeping, while the others were swimming. So I just got a little bit of that done. So that was that one. Ooh. Okay. And then, I didn't get as much stitching time. I thought I got a lot of stitching done this week, and I guess I probably did. I did. You got a lot of stitching done. Okay, and then my next one was the Stitcher Hood, and it is Quaker Pumpkin. And so I am doing this with a kit, and um, so it came with RFL floss, and then this That's vintage cool, cloth from Lori Holt. Very cool material. It is 10 count, and um, if you have not tried this vintage cloth, it is extremely soft, um, but it also can distort very, very easily. So definitely be careful. I will like always use a Q-snap. I don't know that I could use this in hand. I don't know that I could stitch in hand with this because it is such a soft fabric. So I've got two of the little stars done for the um, pumpkin. And so you'll see, yeah, I started here. So that is that. Definitely awesome. I, I like that data mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah, I love it. Um, and let's see. Oh, the other one I'm starting is vintage, uh, vintage Christmas sampler from Lori Holt. And it is in my bag in the car and I didn't go grab it. Oops. I know. I'm sorry. So that are, those, that are, those are my whips for this week. Those are my quilting and cross stitch. And I had a lot of fun this week. Even on vacation, I thought, man, I'm not going to get very much quilting done. But I really did. Yeah. Got a lot. So, oh, we didn't talk about our anniversary. Happy belated anniversary. We had a great anniversary. We um, obviously were at Great Wolf for a little bit. And then uh, we came home. We had dinner with my family. And it was really nice. We had a nice day on Saturday. It was really, really hot here. It was almost 90 degrees on Saturday. Which is crazy for May. Um, but, I mean, Still it weather. is Indiana. Yes. So... Um, and so we had a really great time. We, uh, my parents bought us a pop-up camper for our anniversary. Yes. And that is important when you see some of our haul. Yes. So it's really exciting. Really so, exciting. Okay. Do you want to, you already talked about your plans for next week? Yeah. Uh, or finishing the, the frosty, frosty forest, forest, uh, in a day or two and then going right in, going, diving in into Merry Christmas idea for yeah. a week and a half. Yeah. Okay, so my plans for this next week are to, um, I've got to cut up. Yes, I was supposed is. to, this last week, um, yesterday, I was supposed to cut up all the fabric for this. And basically what I'm doing is I've labeled them in six rows, so one through six going down. So the first day I was supposed to sew all of, or the first day I was supposed to cut fabric. The next day, so tomorrow I'm supposed to assemble all of that first row. And I don't have all the fabric cut yet. So I'm a little bit behind on this one, but um, this is going to be such a darling quilt. I can't wait to get it all put together. Yeah. So those that is strictly like that will finish out my mania for this week and next week on quilting projects. All right. So as far as stitching for this week, I have um, I think three days of stitching again. So my first one is Gingerbread Emporium from Santa's Village. And so I'm going to do this on um, Witch Help Graceful Gray. And that's what I'm going to continue to do our Santa's Village on. I have the whole collection and I'm pretty pumped about that. So I'm going to use Graceful Gray for all the of theme. that. Yes, I will tell you, I ordered Graceful Gray for a couple of projects and I really love is it. It name? matches our house very well. Yes. Our house is very black and white and gray. So, um, so yeah. I'm just fighting with my project back down here. 
So I've got that one. This is Gingerbread Emporium. And then my next one will be Ready, Set, Snow. I'm not going to finish it the way it's finished here. I think it's very, very cute for hands-on design. Um, I don't know. It doesn't say. Ready, Set, Snow. I don't think it says who finished that one. But um, Kathy at Hands-On Designs um, created this chart. Right. And so I am doing this on the chalkboard black of Wachelt and doing the called for DMC colors. And so um, I think it's really, like really going to pop on that chalkboard. And the cute thing is with this one, it comes with your piece of felt for his nose and your button that he holds in his hand. Oh, your snowman comes with. Yeah. But I actually stitch a snowman in this one. And that's honestly, I say that's where I'll start. I'm not really sure where I'll start. I might start with the snowflake blocks. Yeah. I don't know. We'll just see how the week unfolds. So that is Ready, Set, Snow. And then my last project for this week is going to be the Quaker tree. Okay. And this um, goes along really well with the Quaker pumpkin that I'm doing. And then we are also going to do the um, stitch along with Fat Quarter Shop that is the Quaker flag. And so we'll have a nice little collection of the Stitcher Hood um, Quaker. Yes. So, and I'm just doing that on Witch Out White 14 count. I'm a big fan yes. of the, you know, like the chalkboard mm -hmm. and the white and the bright colors and the mm -hmm. dark we'll wait colors. To wait until you see our fabric choices for next week's cross stitch for Mania. I'm super pumped to get to next week. Yes. Yes. So those are my plans, my mania plans for the coming week. I'm mm -hmm. very excited. Like he said, I have a meeting for three days. It's in town, so like I'm not going anywhere. But our homeschool um, group that we belong to, we have a three-day parent practicum. So that's this week, so I'll be super busy with that. But I'll also be sitting in a meeting, and so I can stitch while I sit there. So I'll, I'll get some good stitching huh. time in. What? Nothing. Just you're supposed to be there for a meeting. I know, but I can listen and stitch at the same time. Yeah, I can't do that. Um, do one thing at a time. Sometimes I have to ask what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh my goodness! So that's where we're at. I was really excited to get that um, piece, love, and quilting done. That was really cute. That was huge. Um, if you guys want to, a super fun thing to do. If you go on Instagram and I think just hashtag peace, love, and quilting you will find that several people had done that quilt top and did it in like different fabric prints, different solids, different scraps. It like so many people came up with different ideas and it was really cool. So I do like seeing the variations on people's spin on yeah. a pattern and uh, color choices and things like that. I, I do enjoy seeing that. Yeah. Yeah. So that was super cool. Okay. Um, let's do, should we do haul or mail call first? Let's do haul. Okay. Yes, and the mail call I think is always at the end. Okay. So as a Mother's Day slash anniversary gift, Tech Guy made me a really cool board. You can see part of it right up there. It is a 18 by 20 picture frame that we mounted some wainscot on and then he measured out and um, put all of these really cool clothespins on it and so I can wrap my floss around them okay, and just... hang them up. Yeah, there's one right now. So eventually floss will get um, wrapped around each of those and so that was a really fun haul this week that yes. he made for me. So just nice. Lift it up. Okay. Comment down below if you know where this bag is from. The green gingham bag which is if you a thing. yes it is this is a thing it I is was not sure it i is. thought it was like a little thing no but it's a thing yes if you um click in the description box down below it kind of will give all the information for keepsakes in mason ohio and um let me just give you a little hint later on in the year you are going to want to know where keepsakes is um because there might be something down the pipeline that uh, we are keeping a little secret right now. So on the down low. On the down low. So we went to keepsakes, like I said, on Wednesday. We had way too much fun there. Um, even the kids had a blast. And so we picked up a lot, I mean a lot of things. So let me kind of get everything out. First of all, we picked up, I think we picked up 
about 50 skeins of DMC and it's because we picked up a lot of patterns and I'm just dropping them everywhere. So this is only Some. about half. Yeah. So we got several skeins of floss and then, um, let's see, should, is there a type of order we should no, go in? No, no, just, just kind of, I think we should start with that start first. Start with that. Okay, so if you remember last week in our floss tube, we talked about Tech Guys Vacation and how excited we were. And we also told you that we are a very big board and card game family. We had a little bit of a contest where we were going to play card games every day, a couple times a day if we wanted, or just once a yeah. day. And whoever won the most games won like our contest. Mm -hmm. The winner got to choose the loser's next cross stitch pattern. So it could be silly, funny, serious, whatever we wanted, but they, the loser didn't have a say in what they chose. Nope. So Tech Guy won. Um, and I was a little bit nervous. She was, was questioning what my out. thought process was. I was trying to get it out of him and I just as we were waited. walking through the store. But uh, I'm just going to flash this um, pattern that he chose because it is from Postcard Patterns. And so Postcard Patterns is such a neat concept. They make their charts on postcards that you can actually mail. So this is the postcard. And I mean, you can actually fill this out and put a stamp up here and mail this to someone. So this is the pattern he chose and it is called Neighbors for a Night. And so that's why I said it was super important or that it would be important that y'all know what we got for our anniversary. So we got a pop-up camper yes. and this has two campers on it and it says Neighbors for the Night. It's got a little bonfire and super everything. Cool. And so um, we just thought that was adorable. It so, just kind of screamed at me. Yes, that was the contest. He was the winner, and so that was what I think he she chose actually won. for me to um, stitch that I think next. you actually won that one. I really do love that one. Yeah. I think it's really cool. So um, it'll go in our camper, and we're really excited about it. Okay, this next one is um, something I didn't know if they had, and when we asked Barb for it, she said, oh my goodness, it's in a box downstairs. Let me go get it for you. So this ha wasn't even on the shelves yet, but we saw the model of it oh, and he man. fell in love with it and was like, that's what I'm stitching after Mania. Yes. So this is from Silver Creek Samplers. It is called the Christmas List. It's amazing. Let me take it out of this plastic thing because you'll be able to see it better. Oh, I got a nose itch. Some allergies. It, oh boy. That pollen count. Boy. Okay, so Silver Creek Samplers, it's called the Christmas List. And it's long. It's and big. it's long. It's really Like a Christmas exciting. list. Yes. So it says, family visits, turkey dressing, woolen sweaters, Christmas blessing, flying reindeer, mistletoe, candles glowing, hot cocoa, pies and cookies, old St. Nick, peace and goodwill, peppermint stick, wrapping presents, gingerbread, hang your stocking, time for bed, angels singing, Christ is born, a gift for all on Christmas morn. Love it. And it has like the pictures and everything like next to each little oh, thing. Man. Guys, it's absolutely, absolutely adorable. I'm on it. I can't wait to like watch him stitch this. It's huge, huge. So it's the big piece. But he's going to do so great at it and yeah. I'm so excited. Thanks. So um, that was Silver Creek Samplers and it's called the Christmas List. Uh, how big is it? Adorable. It will finish, let's see, if you do a 14 count, it finishes 7.2 by 20 and a half. It's so, big boy. yes, it is a long dude. Okay, the next one Tech Guy also picked out for me just for fun because he saw it in um, a stash that yeah. they have. This is from Country Cottage Needleworks and it is called ABC Sampler. Get it? And so, this is a cute sampler with a little. Um, like, y'all, if I could pick any house in the world, like, it would be a cabin that looked like this. It's so cute. So, it is um, a sampler, so it's got the alphabet in it. And the B is, the alphabet is done in, like, a green color, mm -hmm. a variegated green. And then um, the B is actually B-E-E, -E, and it's done in yellow. yellow. And let's see, that green color is called, oh, it's classic it? color works. So let me see what it's actually called. Yeah. Um, Poblano Pepper. Sounds great. It's that green color. But look how cute that is. With the yellow striped house, the beehive, yeah. and you've got all the little flowers and everything. Yeah. So 
I will get stitching on we that. We had a lot of fun going through. Oh uh, we picked tapes. up and put down like a hundred patterns. A lot, and it was really good to do. Remember this when together. I said last week I could spend like a thousand dollars a month? <laughs> That's a problem. Okay. The next thing we saw is something that we, okay, we've heard our, our um, Christmas village story and how we have like the large, like we have over a hundred buildings in our Christmas village. Yep. A lot. And we saw a couple of these models stitched up and decided this is something we would really like to do together. So we picked out some hometown holiday series from Little House Needleworks. We each got one. I got the schoolhouse because duh. Um, so I got the schoolhouse and he got the sweet shop and so it was a hard pick it was out of the um, coffee shop yeah so we got those two um charts and so we're going to start stitching those as um a really cute little thing to we do together. together yes um last but not least Just oh no this is not least um that's lost okay we picked up another uh booklet and i'm not going to give you all of the information just yet but know that a stitch along is coming for for us in a couple of months and we could not be more excited. I will share with you what the booklet is that we're going to do our stitch along with so that if you have it already, you can go ahead and um, grab it out or if um, you're placing an order soon, remember no chart um, ships alone. And so you can go ahead and pick it up. We chose a Sue Hillis Designs and it is home for the holidays. And y'all, this is the cutest. Look at those, like the farm truck with the Christmas trees on it. Um, and then we've got this little radio flyer wagon with the Christmas tree in it. There's a camper with a bunch of Christmas trees and snow. And so um, stay tuned, but go ahead and pick this up if you wanna stitch along with us. We will give you more details as they unfold. And, oh, I'm Excuse so me. sorry, it's not water. Um, and to make this chart even better from Sue Hillis, some of y'all may not know this, but she's actually from Ohio in the same region that, uh, um, keepsakes is in. And so just to make this chart even better, my new bestie is right there on the back. So Pam and Steph are right there on the back and it gives a, um, little explanation of what floss tube is on YouTube and, um, promotion to watch just keep stitching. So we will link their channel down below. If you don't watch them, you really should. They're hilarious. They're fun. They They're are really so fun. fun. So um, anyway, we will give you more information later on on this sew along, but just know this is coming down the pipe for us in a couple of months. And when I say a couple, I quite literally mean a couple. So, okay. Spoiler. Oh, and then my very last thing, I did pick up some John James needles at, um, I keep wanting to say just keep stitching at uh, keepsakes these are something i wanted to try now i talked to step i think i talked to steph about these she said that um, they can be a little frail or fragile and so i'm going to be very careful because i tend to be hard on needles so i'm going to try these just to have something different than a bow in just to see i've just never tried it out yeah test the waters test the waters put your toe so, in it there are some john james needles that i picked up cool yeah so those that was kind of our haul put together. So pretty big haul from. Um, it was a busy week. Yes, there were lots of people while we were there, and it was really. Exciting. And they were so they were just celebrating the coolest things like oh yeah new customers coming in, and it was just mm -hmm. a good environment to be around. Yeah. Um, and Barbara was a hoot to to talk to, and the ladies there. She was so nice. Uh, she was very nice. Yeah. And then, uh, they were also nice to the kids too. Very nice. Okay, so now we have mail call. We had some extremely sweet mail this week. First of all, we got um, this package from um, Illinois and it came with a very sweet letter from Charlotte in Illinois. And um, she said that she had saw our video with um, our Band-Aid quilts for Project Peanut. And um, she wanted to, um, make a couple for the NICU that um, her niece was in for a couple of days when she was born. And so she made a few um, band-aid quilts for that hospital and she wanted to give us a few band-aids to pass on to our uh, local children's hospital here. 
And so, you all, I looked at these. First of all, she shipped them geniusly. Awesome. So, they are in just a regular, like, envelope, okay? She put them around a paper towel, a uh, cardboard paper towel holder with a piece of white printer paper. And so, Genius, when you take Charlotte. this off, it, like, protects the actual fabric. So genius. So it doesn't get all gross and stuff with the mail. But y'all, this is Tootsie Roll Pop oh, fabric. Man. It brings me back when I was a Look younger kid. Look how cute. Yeah. And those are all like, those are huge Tootsie Pops. Yes. They're adorable. So I think that I'm going to make each one of these a NICU quilt, which would just be one banded. I'm going to put a little border on here. Um, quilt it up with some batting and backing and quilt it up and use some binding and there's two little NICU quilts right there. It warms our hearts like it, it yes. the whole point about Project Peanut is um, to uh, pay it forward to families that don't have or don't know how to go through a situation and they know that a family or someone is yes. uh, you know care enough to do something for them and yes. they may never meet that person and that family and that's and that's okay and uh, going through that journey with us and uh, we're just trying to inspire to pay it forward yes um, and it, you know it helps us when that's happened for us and we just kind of want to share that so yeah. it's very cool to hear that people are uh, paying it forward to their local children's hospital yeah. that's amazing like that's yeah. that's the whole point point. and those band-aid quilts can literally be made I say literally all the time they can really be made out of scraps yes like scraps. a scrap buster and don't feel like you have to mail them to us. Yes. Donate them to your we own hospital. We appreciate it. Oh, yes, we absolutely. Appreciate we that. will donate them on your behalf, no problem. Um, but, like, donate them to your own hospitals, too. Because just the sentiment of someone taking the time to make something and think through the process of what you might be going through in the hospital with a child helps tremendously um i will never forget the day that they came by with a huge radio flyer wagon at our children's hospital and passed out quilt blankets that a local guild had made and it was just so warming to us in that time that we were going through and still continue to go through oh, absolutely. but just that sentiment and so if i have the ability to make some quilts and send them i'm going to do that and so that's what Project Peanut is all about. Yes. So thank you so much for those adorable quilt blocks. The next thing, still speaking of Project Peanut, we got a sweet card and I, I really wish I knew who this was from. Um, I will tell you what it says and then um, I will tell you kind of what it's about. This just says, please use this gift, gift certificate to purchase items needed to make your band-aid quilts. Big smiles and hugs from a friend. And so this is a $100 gift certificate for Fat Quarter Shop. And um, basically one of our wonderful subscribers sent this to us. And from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so very much. Um, we will be able to purchase batting or backing or binding fabric or basting spray or whatever we need to finish up a bunch of band-aid quilts and um, use this gift, gift certificate Wisely. to be able to do so. So thank you yes. so much, very, very much. I wish I knew who you were so I could thank you personally. Yes. Um, but thank you so very much. That was very, very sweet. I wish you could buy time. Hmm? Can you buy more time? Oh, buy, I wish ooh, what a you can buy more time. Yeah. Just. Like if you needed to just buy a little extra time in your day. Yes. So, thank you guys so thank much. Thank you. Never do we expect mail from any of our viewers, but it is so, so sweet when we get to open something like that. Yes. So, thank you very much. So, um, we want to give back to you all. And we had a giveaway last week where we will be giving away one of these Eat, Sleep, Stitch, Repeat canvas backpacks. And these are phenomenal quality. The canvas on them is so wonderful. It's called Comfort Colors or Buy Comfort Colors. Um, and so we love these. So we wanted to give um, one of those away. And um, I have not left a comment on her video yet, but I kid you not. Um, if I think, I think this is the same person that actually we had posted on Instagram that we had been to keepsakes. 
and um, a couple of days later she went into keepsakes and so um, her name is uh, Susan and so I will comment on your comment from last week to make sure that you know that you are the winner and um, so you win one of those wonderful ca and canvas you'll love it. bags. Oh yes, you will you absolutely will love, love it. it. So um, email me after I've commented on your video that you or on your comment that you are the winner. Um, go in our description box, grab our email address, and email me your uh, mailing address so I can get that sent off to you. Yes. So um, congratulations, Susan. We're so excited for it, you. We are excited for you. So last week was a cross stitch um, giveaway, and so this week we're going to do a quilting giveaway. But and don't you say... all are going to flip out over this week's giveaway. I'm just as excited, I think, because we get comments on this particular quilt. All the time like yes. it might be our number one comment um, all the time is where did you get that pattern and we want to give one to yes. today. so this is the stitched with love by thimble blossoms uh, by Camille Ross Kelly and this is the sewing machine quilt that usually hangs behind us uh, before we switched our set and That's across um, the room. now it is across the room so I can look at it when I am stitching and um, so we want to give you this pattern with a fat quarter bundle called Farmer's Daughter. And that is a, um, it's a fat quarter bundle from um, Moda Fabrics. And it is, um, yeah, called Farmer's Daughter. So we want to give you that because you can actually make this with some fat quarters, yes. charm packs, um, some different um, scrap fabrics, things like that. So we want to give you that. And then just an omni grid ruler. Boom. Yes. So this is a nice little quilting bundle. So I, let's see, what do I want you to, I go through this every week. What do I want you it's to. It's like a surprise. I know. What do I want you to say below? And you guys have done a great job. Yeah. On that saying giveaway. Yes. Don't say giveaway. Free. Don't get free. Don't say free. Uh, it was good. It's... Yes. You guys are great. And, and we say this every week. The reason we ask you not to do that is because we want to make sure that our subscribers who take time out of their week to watch our videos, that you all are the ones that have a chance to um, get the giveaway. Yes. And because there are people trolling. And if we see comments that say giveaway, I think Pam said this this week on their floss tube, or I don't remember who said this. Somebody said this on a floss tube this week. If we see a comment that says giveaway, we will delete it only because people troll the internet for free things. They type in giveaway free on YouTube and wherever they can find the word giveaway, they enter it. Whether they have anything to do with that craft, that giveaway, anything. It would be like if I were to go on YouTube, type away car giveaway for some, and I went and commented on somebody's car part that they were giving away, why would I need to do that? I know nothing about cars or anything like that. That's not true. And so, and so, um, so anyway, we want to make sure that you guys um, get the chance to get that giveaway. Yep. So down below, I would love if you would comment, um, let's see, what's your favorite LNS, local needlework shop? And if you're not a needlework um, artist, then what is your favorite quilt shop? Let me know down below. You don't have to put what city or state it's from if you if you don't feel comfortable. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Just say the name of it. Um, and how long have you been going there? So for us, um, we don't have an LNS close to us. And so well, we keep, do. It's an hour away. Yeah. Well, yeah, about an hour and a half for uh, keepsakes for us. And so, um, like, we've been there one time. But my local quilt shop, I've been there a dozen, two dozen, three dozen times. Yep. And I love it. So um, let us know what your favorite shop is down below. And then put quilting bundle. So... All right. Well, I think I think that's about it for this week. It was a lot this week. Yeah, for sure. So, thank you so much for joining us in the hive today as we are having so much fun with mania and um, all of that. So, so thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you for joining us for sure. All right. Well, you guys have a great week and we will see you later.